I know you were thrilled, Linda, about getting to drink again. <laughs> it's her fault. <laughs> well, am I speaking for all of us that we were dying for that to happen? I mean, yeah. were we waiting for that to happen? And you, the work you did was incredible. I mean, we could see how you were tasting that, smelling yeah. that, yeah. wanting that. But it was something you were conflicted with. Tell us what you want to tell us about why you were unsure that it was time to go back to that, to the bottle. Well, again, um, applause to the writers because um, I think it was, you know, I, I've known um, many people who have the addiction and I think that in that moment when he, he passed, that that was, uh, for lack of a better word, that was the appropriate time. Uh, so the writers kept, you know, kept it appropriate and authentic. And I think it was very authentic to the character and very respectful for her journey. Uh, she, had, she had stopped drinking, uh, she had been in rehab, uh, she was sober, and I felt that that was a huge jolt. And as you saw at the memorial, when she said he was the love of her life, uh, mm. That I, I felt that uh, an alcoholic would would that's the time they would drink. Is there more to come? We, um, yeah, it's not going to be Aqua Velva and homeless, but um, you know, <laughs> I, I I think when it's appropriate, you know, in a classy way, we're going to use it as a as a benefit. Um, but you know, Linda didn't, you know, of course, understandably was really hesitant about having her character drink again. And, um, and so it was on me to try to convince her. And we had many conversations about it. And then the night that uh, Mike was shooting that, I decided to stay out of the way. <laughs> I just, I went as far back as I could. And so it was, on, I said, you're on your own. You're gonna, you know, walk her through the scene. And uh, I think that was only two takes. Yeah, yeah two, two takes. We, uh, you know, it was, and it was a completely organic scene, too. I mean, Lynn and I just sort of, the crew kind of went away, and we just sort of talked about it, and about, you know, there were, there were several things that were uh, prescribed per the script in there, and then she, and we sort of talked about how to find our way through those different signposts, and then she needed to end up in front of that bottle and, you know, eventually take a drink. And, you know, the way you, you gathered things to sort of get yourself ready for that was just a, a beautiful organic journey. And, uh, and that's, uh, all of that was <clears throat> uh, taken from one of those two takes. And um, it just was uh, I think our editor remarkable. is here also, Mark Strand, and um, his assistant, Chet, because they're, they're working. You know, we're now, because we have air dates, we're all post-production is literally 24-7. So, and they're just up the street, um, and this was their episode. But I thought that that piece of music that yeah. oh, the they music. put to that Incredible. was just phenomenal and yeah. really, really beautiful. <clears throat> it really was. It did Brilliant took performance, Miss right. Gray. And then um, this isn't official, but that bottle that you saw in there that says J.R. Ewing on it was. Um, we've had many perks in Dallas, and uh, one of them is meeting a lot of very interesting people. And we met a man by the name of Bennett Glazer, who is um, Glazer's Distributors, who is the fourth largest liquor distributor in the country. And um, and they made that bottle for us, and they gave Mike one and me one and Ken Topolsky one. Mm -hmm. And what they wanted to do is put it out like put out a super premium bourbon sold with that bottle. And we liked it so much that we took it to Warner Brothers and said, can we do this? And I think there's something being worked out so that you can you know, go to the store and buy that. Um, and then there was, they seemed no better opportunity to use that bottle. I remember the props, you know, bringing all these bourbon bottles for the room, and suddenly I remember, wait, we have this perfect bottle in our office, you know, that they gave us as a gift. And so I went to get Ken Topolsky's bottle oh. and used it for the for the prop. And since then, they've made a lot of them. Well, I have just the place yeah. for that bottle in my bedroom. Yeah, <laughs> I, your your name has crossed my mind. Yeah. Yes.